hey you guys welcome back I hope you guys are doing well and are ready for our yoga this morning so I'll give you guys a minute or so to have more people jump online and then we will begin in a seated position so get yourselves all ready get yourself all set up and then we will begin and you know grab your water and have a drink and all of those good things So once you're ready, just make sure we have our mat out, water close by, and then come on down to a seat, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands right into your lap. I want you to loop your shoulders back and down your spine. Make sure we're just tucking that chin back in space just slightly, and then go ahead and close your eyes. We're going to focus on that breath, inhaling in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale. Exhale, one more just like that, in and out. Just let that breath come in and out through your nose. Just noticing how it feels as it enters the body. That cool touch on the nostril as it goes down the back of your throat. The expansion of your lungs and your ribs. Maybe the slight shift in your torso. And then as it leaves the body, that compression of the lungs. The warmth coming through your nostrils. And just that feel of ease starting to come over your body. And just really focus on being present being still right here, just focusing on that breath, inhaling in through the nose and out. And notice where you're holding tension through your body and just begin to release it. Maybe your shoulders are coming up towards your ears, just relax them down your spine. Maybe you're clenching in your jaw. Part your lips just slightly. Maybe you are tense in your arms. Just pull them back onto your thighs a little bit more. Just let them relax. Or even maybe you're feeling some of that tightness in through your legs. You can always pull the flesh from your butt from one side to the other to really just help you ground a little bit more into your mat. Give your legs a little shake and just let them relax. And just really feel your body getting heavier into your mat. And notice what's going on with your breath. Do you have a really short, stifled breath or a quick paced breath? Notice if your chest is moving the most as you're breathing. And I want you to really practice having long drawn out inhales and exhales that are equal in length. Right, so we inhale, I want you to feel your belly expanding. Exhale, let it go. And if you need to count, count to four as you breathe in. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale. In, out, and just keep that rhythm going for the next five breaths. Great job. Go ahead and open your eyes. Take a big inhale. And 
and exhale, let it go. Find a little shimmy shake in your upper body. Just move as it feels comfortable to you. And with that next inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky, look up. And exhale, float your arms down to your side, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hold your hands at the top. I want you to interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the ceiling, press up. And then as you exhale, release your hands to the base of your skull, right where your head connects to your neck and open your elbows nice and wide. Focus on rolling those shoulder blades back and down your spine in towards that center line. Take a big inhale, look up. And as we exhale, I want you to tuck your chin into your chest and start to pull your spine towards that back wall, getting a rounding here. Allow your forearms to drop forward and just let the gravity help give you that resistance here. Don't pull, don't add any extra tugging, just allow gravity to do its job. Inhale, slow and control, roll up through the spine, lifting your head last, opening your arms, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, always starting from our base, working our way up to our head. Exhale, roll. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. We'll do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And with your exhale, we're going to hold it in that rounded position. Really focus on rolling that tailbone all the way up towards the ceiling. Really relaxing your head. Release your shoulders down your back body and let gravity do its thing. Release any tension in your jaw. Just part your lips slightly and focus on that breath. Inhale, exhale, in, out. One more breath here. Inhale, slow and control. Roll all the way back up. Open your elbows, release that bind, and stretch your arms left and right. You can move your head as needed, move that upper body as needed, and just kind of feel it out. And then bring your hands right onto your knees. <clears throat> Sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale and press your chest forward, bend at your elbows. Really loop your shoulder blades back and down your spine. Look up. Exhale, round, tuck your chin into your chest, lengthen through your arms here. Pull that belly button deep into your spine. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. Again, really focusing on articulating from your pelvis all the way up as we move through these poses. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. Exhale, round. Start to feel a fluidity within your spine. Really control those movements and connect them to your breath. And we'll do two more. Last one. And come back into that neutral position here. Just bring your hands to your heart, spread your elbows nice and wide. Close your eyes and we'll take a breath here. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and make your way onto all fours, bringing your wrists right underneath of your shoulders and your knees right underneath of your hips. Spread your fingertips nice and wide here. Really press firmly into every single knuckle, the pads of your thumbs, every part of your hand. Inhale, press away from your mat. Lengthen out of your shoulders. Look forward, have a nice flat back here. You can curl your toes under or keep them flat to the ground. Just find what's comfortable for you. Take a big inhale in and out. Inhale, drop that belly, look forward. Exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, pull your upper back towards the ceiling here. 
Inhale, lengthen, drop your belly. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. In. Out. Last one. Great job. Go ahead and turn your, or curl your toes under. We're gonna go through a couple up dogs down into, or down dog into an up dog. We're gonna do that in a very fluid motion, but not moving through a full vinyasa. So curl your toes under, take a big inhale, and as you exhale, send your hips to the sky. Really try to pull your chest towards your thighs here. Press into the index finger knuckles and turn your biceps towards the ceiling. If you need a bend in your knees or to lift your heels, that's fine. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, shift yourself forward. Flip your feet onto the tops. Allow your hips to sink as we come into that up dog. Really lift through your head here. Engage your glutes to keep your low back stable and loop those shoulders back and down your spine as you open up your chest. Inhale, exhale, curl those toes under, send it up, downward facing dog. Focus on that breath, finding yourself in the right postures. And as you exhale, shift yourself forward, flip your toes down, drop your hips. Upward facing dog. Focus on your breath. We'll stay in each pose for two breaths before we transition. So go ahead and curl your toes under. Inhale, exhale, send your hips to the sky. Two breaths here. Inhale, shift yourself forward, release those hips. Upward facing dog. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, begin to curl those toes under, send your hips all the way up. And with that next inhale, I want you to bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. We're going to come into our forward fold. So just release that entire upper body over your lower body here. Allow your chin to tuck right into your chest. You have a nice big bend in your knees if you'd like to open up through that low back. And you can even take opposite hand to opposite elbow here and just find a slight sway left and right. Come back to center, holding still right here. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more, feel the back side of your body with your lungs expanding, inhale. Exhale, release your arms down. Inhale, glide your arms up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through that upper body, send your gaze past your nose. And as we exhale, go ahead and forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift, bringing your hands to your shins this time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. We're gonna draw a big circle with our arms as we stand all the way up. Arms up and overhead, slight back bend at the top. And as we exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and plant those palms down. Step one foot back and then the other, shifting into your plank. Pull that belly button really deep into your spine. We're gonna hold it here for several breaths. Make sure your wrists are right under your shoulders. Turn your inner thighs up towards the sky here. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. We're going to prepare for a vinyasa. So I want you to point your fingertips towards the edge of your mat just slightly. Take a big inhale. Look forward. As we exhale, keep your elbows into your side and slow and controlled. Lower all the way down. Belly to the mat. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, press through your hands, coming all the way back into our upward facing dog. And as we exhale, we're going to open our knees as wide as the mat. Bring your big toes into touch. Send your hips to your heels and bring your forehead all the way down to the mat. Arms extended overhead. You can go ahead and close your eyes here. 
Just focus on that breath. Inhaling in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Keep it going. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. With your next inhale, I want you to find your flow all the way up to our tabletop position, all fours on the mat. Take a big inhale and exhale. Inhale, I want you to send your right fingertips forward, left toes back. Try to keep nice and parallel to the ground. Don't arch in your low back here. Nice and straight. Press into that right foot, really helping with your balance. Take a big inhale. And as the exhale, arch in the back, slow and controlled, bring that elbow into your knee, connect in the center, lifting slightly. Inhale, lengthen, send it out. Don't arch in that low back. Exhale, slow and controlled, connect and lift here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, connect. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, in. Out, last one, in, out, great. Go ahead and plant that knee, plant that palm, find your center of gravity, and when you're ready, we're gonna extend the left fingertips forward, and then exhale, extend the right toes back. Really lengthen through your toes, lengthen through your hand here. Make sure you're pressing into all five fingers of that right hand. Inhale, exhale, slow and controlled. Connect and lift right in the center. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, connect, inhale, exhale, in, out, two more, last one, great, plant that knee, plant that palm, curl your toes under, take a big inhale, and as we exhale, send your hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat, come into your forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slow and controlled, we're gonna roll all the way up to standing. Straightening through your legs, tucking that tailbone under, rounding up through the low back, mid back, upper back. Loop those shoulders up, back and down. Lengthen through your neck, lengthen through the top of your head. Keep your hands right at your side, look forward. Take a breath in, out. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your palms right to your heart. Take another breath in, out. Step to the center of your mat and open your feet as wide as it's comfortable for you. And make sure your feet are faced to the front wall. Take a big inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Exhale, sink your hips back. Send your body weight forward, bring those arms below you into that forward fold. It's okay if you have a bend in your knees here. Tuck your chin into your chest. Come on to your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more, in and out. 
Awesome, go ahead and bring your hands right under your hips. Bend your knees, slow and controlled. Roll all the way back up to standing. And exhale, let it go. I want you to turn your feet to the right side of your mat. We're gonna come onto the ball of that back foot. To make sure we're in that proper position, I want you to bend that knee, round through that tailbone. Notice I'm really tucking right here. And then once you know you're in that tuck and your hips are front facing, parallel to the front of your mat, lengthen through that back leg. If you don't have a long stance, that's okay. You're still gonna be lengthening those muscles quite a bit. So again, shift your hips forward. Find that balance, press into all of your toes on the front foot and that back foot. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Focus on your breath here. Inhaling in, exhale. Make sure your thumbs are pointed to that back wall and slightly turn them towards the side walls so we can really start to engage through that side back body. Inhaling in and out. Really pull your core in. Feel that strength coming from within. Pull your legs in towards that middle line. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're gonna spiral and plant that back heel down. Open your arms as wide as the room. Turn your chest forward. Look over that front hand. If your chest is tilted, you're gonna cause compression here. Inhaling in, keep that tailbone tucked. Focus on your breath in, out, inhale, exhale. With that next breath, drop your hand to your back thigh, lift that front arm all the way up. Sink a little lower in your hips here. Again, turn your thumb towards that wall behind you. Lift your near chest and try to look underneath of that bicep. Inhaling in, feel the right side of your body expanding. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, exhale, great. With that next inhale, we're gonna come back up into our warrior two. Chest forward, looking over that front arm. Inhale with one nice fluid motion. We're going to turn and just come onto that front foot. Find your balance first. You can bring your hands right at your heart. That left leg lifted just slightly. Take a big inhale. Find something to hold your gaze. And with your next breath, slow and controlled at the hip, we're gonna start tipping. I want you to keep your hips parallel to the ground though and begin extending that left leg. Press into that right foot and lengthen here. You can bring your hands right at your chest in front of you. You can extend them overhead, or you can bring them out to the side. Find what's comfortable for you. Really fix your gaze on something just out past your nose. Press into that right leg, and it's okay if you wobble or stumble. It's only going to improve your balance here. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to hold this for three more breaths. You can do it. And it's okay if you start to lose your balance. Regain it. Move your arms. Move your body. If you fall, come back into it. Right? And then when you're ready, plant that left foot. Take a big inhale. Stand all the way up. Exhale. Forward fold. Plant those palms. Step one foot back. And then the other. Shift yourself into your plank. Point those fingertips out towards the edge and move through your vinyasa. Inhale, lengthen into up dog. And exhale, send it back into child's pose. Opening your knees as wide as your mat, or you can keep your knees into center. Find what's comfortable for your body, always. Use your fingers to press into the mat and shifting your hips back a little closer to your heels. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And just really begin to focus on that breath. Big inhale, big exhale. In, out. One more, in, out. Just let that breath come to a nice normal rhythm. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today.
And with that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to downward facing dog. Focus on your breath here. Inhale, exhale. See if you can lift your hips a little higher, lengthening through your legs, pulling your chest towards your thighs a little bit more. And with that next inhale, bend your knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle, all the way up. Slight back bend. Exhale, palms together, bring them to your heart. Take a breath. Go ahead and step to the center of your mat. Open your legs nice and wide here. Take a big inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Palms together, turn your toes outwards towards the corners of your mat and maybe inch them in a little closer. Exhale, we're gonna sink in our hips, bringing our elbows to the inner part of our knees, coming into a deep, deep squat here. If you can't sink down low, keep your hips lifted, but keep your chest lifted at the same time. If the stance is too wide, walk it in a little closer. Really lift in that chest. Press those elbows into your legs. Press your legs into your elbows. Take a big inhale and exhale. Focus on that breath. In, out, inhale, exhale. One more breath here. In, and as we exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Send your hips to the sky. Point your toes to the front of the room. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands right onto your hips. Slow and controlled. Bend your knees. Roll all the way up to standing. Lengthening through your spine, looping those shoulders back. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, turn your feet to the left side of your mat. Come onto the ball of that back foot. Again, lengthening, finding that pelvic tuck before we really lengthen through that back leg. You can step that back foot in if you need to, finding whatever stance is comfortable for your body and sinking your hips just slightly as long as they're turning to face the front. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up. Focus on your breath, big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Finn just got back from a walk. With that next inhale, we're going to spiral that back heel down. Open your arms as wide as the room. Bring your palms down. Again, turn your chest towards the front of the room. Focus on your breath. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can sink a little deeper in your hips here. Inhale. Exhale, one more, in, and as you exhale, release that back arm down your thigh, lift that front arm all the way up. Feel your breath coming through that left side and sink in your hips just a little bit more. Inhaling in, and exhale. One more breath here, in, and as you exhale, we're gonna come back into that warrior two. And this is where we're gonna really press into that left front foot. Turn your hips forward, lift that front leg. You can go slow and controlled. Bring your hands right into your heart. Take a breath. And with your exhale, slowly start to tip and extend that right leg, pointing your toes, straightening through that left foot here, sending your gaze down past your nose. Really focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale. Really feel that left foot grounding down for you. Play around with those arm positions. Maybe you wanna go out to the sides, out in front. You'll find one leg might be a little more stable than the other. Focus on your breath. In, out, two more breaths here. Last one. And as you exhale, bend that left knee, bring that right foot into step, sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Go ahead and plant your palms, 
Step one foot back and then the other and move through your vinyasa. Inhaling into up dog. And exhale, we're gonna send it back into our child's pose. But this time, keep your knees into that center line before you sink your hips back. So we can open up through that low back even more. Get yourself nice and comfortable. Focus on that breath. And then when you're ready, you can either keep your arms right where they are, or you can glide them back towards your feet, flipping your palms up. Allow your shoulders to roll forward. Feel the weight pressing into your forehead. And just focus on that breath. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of a third thing that you're grateful for from today. Your next inhale, glide your hands, bringing them palms down underneath of your shoulders. Press yourself away from the floor, sending your hips to your heels. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes, bring your hands right onto your thighs and take a breath in and out. Shift your body weight forward, curl your toes under, sink your hips back into your heels. And as always, if it's too much, lift out of your hips just slightly. Focus on that breath, opening up through your chest, really looping those shoulders back and around your spine. Pull your belly in towards the center. Focus on your breath here. Inhale and exhale. One more. In. And as you exhale, send your legs to one side of the mat or the other, bringing your bottom all the way down to the floor. Extend your legs out in front, keeping the bottoms of your feet planted onto your mat. Bring your hands right around your knees. Inhale, lengthen, pull yourself forward. Exhale, release your hands, open your palms up to the ceiling. Pull your knees in towards the center line. Inhaling in. Exhale, sink it back until you can feel your abs engaged, but we're not rounding in our spine. Inhale, exhale. You can hold it here, or you can take the opportunity for a deeper stretch, deeper challenge, and lift one leg and then the other, really coming onto your sit bones, your tailbones, finding that balance. If you notice you're rounding, pull your chest into your knees, pull your knees in towards the center. Focus on your breathing. Inhale. Exhale. You can again stay right here or try to walk your legs straight. Find what's going to be that challenge for you and don't overdo it. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Feel your body shake. Feel your body burn. Just accept it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Sink an inch wherever you're at. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sink an inch. Inhale, up. Exhale, sink two inches. Inhale, all the way back up. And exhale, slow and control. Release yourself all the way down to your mat. Extend those arms up and overhead. Get a big stretch here. And as you exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Catch them with your hands. Give them a little hug. Lift that tailbone away from the floor. Focus on your breath here. Inhale and exhale. Come into stillness. Inhaling in. And as we exhale, I want you to go ahead and release that right leg down. Catch your knee with your right hand and bring that left hand out to the side palm down. Send the left knee over to the right side of your mat. 
Bring that left shoulder blade down into the ground and just feel that stretch through your spine. Inhaling in, exhale, sinking into that pose a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. Two more breaths here. Inhale, roll back to center, both knees into your chest. Give them a little tug. Exhale, go ahead and release that left leg down. Bring your right palm down to the floor. Send your knee over to the left side, keeping that right shoulder blade down onto your mat. Focus on your breath, in and out. Inhaling in and exhale. Two more breaths here. And with that next inhale, come back to center. Both knees into your chest, give them another tug. Mind your stillness, really wrap your arms around your knees and tuck your chin, your chin into your chest, forehead to your knees. Creating a nice little cocoon here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, completely unwind, releasing your head, releasing your legs. Let your feet fall open as wide as your mat. Bring your palms down to the floor, open them up to the sky. Close your eyes. Take a big inhale in. And now, one more just like that. In and out. And as we move into our final resting pose, Savasana, this is your time to be still, be present, and just breathe. And with your next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, go ahead and bat your eyelashes open and close, and then roll onto your side facing me. Use your arm as a pillow, and we'll take a breath there. Inhaling in, and out. Inhale, press yourself up away from the floor, come into a comfortable cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. Hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale and exhale. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhaling in and out. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart. Take a big inhale and exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, bow forward, sealing our practice.
Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I hope you are feeling a little energized, but also a little relaxed. So with that, I will see you guys very soon. So stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, have a great day. Bye.